What is up, nerds? I'm Wes from Everboard Gaming, and I'm hanging out with Kirk from Smirk and Dagger Games. How are you doing today, man? Excellent. Awesome. What are we looking at here? So this is our brand new game, Paramedics Clear, and this is an absolute high-tension, pulse-pounding game of saving lives, and you probably can't save them all. All right. Yeah, this is it's a game where we've got a companion app, so your your turns are all timed. You've got like 60 seconds, and then towards the end of the game, it shrinks to 45 and then 30 seconds. And you're managing a hand and a clock and your own stress, mm -hmm. trying to make sure you don't kill people yeah. or let them die, I guess is really what it is. So um, on, your, uh, on your gurneys, you're going to have one or maybe two patients at a time. And all of these patients have medical needs. So you can see you can flip over yours okay. too as well. Um, yeah, board oh. game, board game injury. Oh man, sad. Okay, so this guy brought a knife to a gunfight. He needs blood. All right. All right. So I'm now going to take a look at my hand of supply cards. Mm -hmm. I can see that for for me, blood is yellow and yellow. Happily, I happen to have those, oh. so I can play for that. That goes right there, and as long as they get one thing. They are sustained for the turn. They will not die. Okay. Put a band-aid on it. Right? Fine. Exactly. Well, you're, you're, you're triaging and just treating. So now this guy needs meds, which are orange. I have that. Or a bandage. Well, red and green. Now, I don't have red or green, but I could always swap in to the center, pick up a different color, one for one, okay. and then pay for that, drop that on him. Sustained. Now, everyone is safe for this turn. All right. Now maybe I've got 20 seconds left. I've got two more cards. You say, well, all right, what else do I want to do? I could pay for meds for later. I could get orange for a med and I either give it right to him and send him to the hospital or put it in my cabinet for next turn. By putting things in the cabinets, you're giving yourself an advantage for, you know, this is a speed game, so yeah. you want to get that stuff quickly. So, um, but let's say that I did give it to him right now. Anytime a patient gets uh, all the things they need, they immediately transport right to the hospital. And there, they are worth positive points. Okay. Now, if you can't get them what they need or the timer runs out, they instead go over to the morgue where they are worth negative points. Yeah. So, um, now interesting that when you empty your backup gurney, well, that's just fine. Um, your opponents will fill that for you. Okay. However, if you end up, whoops, look at that. If you end up, this guy, I know. <laughs> you fill up all his stuff and you send him to the hospital, if your main gurney is ever empty, you must immediately draw two new patients off the deck, triage them, who can I handle? You put this one down on your, uh, on your own gurney and then you give this one face down to your opponent. They don't know what that oh, is man. until the beginning of their turn. And of course, they might even just drop in a critical patient. Ooh, yeah. Now, critical patients have to be saved all in one turn. You can't save them from turn to turn. Yeah. Which is why it's important to save some of the medicine cabinet. Exactly. They need everything they need in transport or they die. Okay. <laughs> now, the other thing that you might do with a little leftover time is start building an upgrade. So you can use a single color card of your choice to start collecting that, and so you can pay for things like an extra medical cabinet. So there, you've got one other slot that you can put supplies into. Mm -hmm. Or you may give yourself a six-card hand, oh. which is very handy. And that's get, with these cards, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. The other thing is, you can pay four for a medevac. Now, medevac is standby on the pad once you pay for it. And if you ever get in trouble and you can't save a guy, you say, medevac, clear that, send them right to the hospital, and you don't have to treat them. And that includes a critical needs patient? Yep, any okay. day. Yep. Gotcha. And of course, all right, so I just emptied my main gurney, so what do I have to do? You have to draw two draw new cards. Draw two new cards. Yeah. Um, now, all of that is happening while the timer is running. Man. So, this is kind of a five second delay, so you can meet into the yeah. next player. Get pumped, get pumped. Yeah. Yep, trick. And then, boom, the EKG goes off, and now you've got this running with the whole turn. Uh, as you are playing cards, managing your hand, picking up extra stuff, and uh, and saving lives. Gotcha. And then, before that timer runs out, you gotta hit the button, clear! And then uh, immediately restart for the next player, because their turn has already begun. Gotcha. So, 
you are constantly on edge. People have been calling this game Heart Attack in a Box. Man. Because you feel it. And when you are done with this game, 60, 45, 30 second turns, you sit back from the table and you're just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's it's incredible. Yeah. Um, we had a, a, a play test yesterday. Um, after the game was done, the, 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 the guy looked at the, he's like, guys, I gotta tell you, the components, the timer, the experience at the table, yeah. it's incredible. I am an ER surgeon, oh. and I need two copies right now. Man, that was my next question is, have you played with people who work like, in ER situations and they it fit? They've been coming out of the woodwork and self-identifying. You know, oh my god, I'm an EMT. There's never been a game about what we do. This is so cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's been really neat. And it, it seems like it has a pretty like low entry level too. Like it doesn't take like it's not super complicated. There's not like a yeah. ton of like intricate strategy. It's pretty straightforward. It's very straightforward. It's a matter of managing your stress and having the level mindedness mm -hmm. to do the, really what are simple moves without the timer. Yeah, you'd probably be just fine. But the, that weight of the timer and knowing that if you aren't gonna do it right, you're gonna lose patience. Yeah. I think that is actually something that like kinda is in people's minds and that's why you feel it so much. I bet. Now you could do um, a second edition that's in a veterinary medical hospital. You know we were talking about that yesterday. Like killing off puppies and that really would hit your heart. We actually said that very same thing at dinner last night. Right, you owe me thirty dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait actually you're trying to steal our idea. You owe me thirty dollars. <laughs> Nice. That was awesome. My wife actually um, worked in the ER for a while. She works in a clinic now. So she really likes games that have this theme. Yeah. Like, um, Pandemic is one of her favorite sure. games, things like that. So I think this would really be like, a perfect one for her. And it, how does it, it go? one to four? It is. It's one to four. But now, interestingly enough, you mentioned Pandemic. This is a competitive game. Yeah. You wouldn't think that it would be because we're saving lives. Yeah. But you're really trying to be the best on the, you know, mm -hmm on the rig of the day. So, um, when you first start playing, the timer is your enemy. Yeah. However, once you manage your stress, you start getting good at it, then all of a sudden you start seeing opportunities to make sure you are going to be the best. So, you're okay. going to you're going to give them the, the critical bombs. You're going to see that they need blood and say, "Oh, yeah, for you oh, that's this guy needs a lot oh, of blood. Oh, for for you that's blue, isn't it?" Oh, last minute I'm going to swap these oh, cards man. out. Yeah. Oh, All of that man. stuff starts being possible. Yeah. Um, there's another rule where, like, you know, oh, I don't see the cards that I need. I, I need uh, backup on purple. Now, you can get a two for one trade of cards, so it's worth someone trading you yeah. to do that. But there's no obligation. You can just say, ah, sorry, dude, I can't help you. The guys are like, what for sheep? What for sheep? <laughs> Man, that's awesome. And the, um, the timer is beeping too, right? Yes. Is oh, it, yeah. Is it faster as it goes? I, it's loud here. It does, here. yeah. At, at seven seconds, it goes on alert mode. Oh, man. <laughs> and then it codes. So. The games I've played with companion apps, that beeping is the worst. Like, knowing there's a timer is one thing, and then hearing beep, and you're like, oh, God, oh, God, ah, ah. And, and, that, and that sound of a, of a heartbeat monitor, yeah. it just says terrible things to your brain. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, this looks awesome. I'm super excited about this one. Awesome. Well, guys, we will have a purchase link to this game in the description box down below. Make sure you check that out. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. This guy knows what he's doing.